Ladies and gentlemen, it's that time again. It's time for the J. Craig 5, maybe 10 minute movie review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the J. Craig Podcast. I am J. Over here I have the sweet, sweet vocals of Bob Gira, who you might remember the voice, but never seen the face. Yes. There he is, folks. And I also have the most, the, the biggest Marvel movie junkie that I know, Mark Taylor. How you doing? Gentlemen, welcome to the podcast. <laughs> yeah, so if you can't tell by the shirts, we just got up seeing Avengers Infinity War. And as a first reaction... Badass. I just love this movie. That's my first reaction. Bob. I thought it was amazing. Fantastic. Lived up to all my expectations. And I cannot say more without spoiling anything. Okay. Mark. Awesome movie. Probably the best in the universe. The Marvel Universe. I'll oh, go ahead and say that. Oh. I'll, I'll go ahead and say okay, that. Okay. Yeah. okay. Whoa. Don't you say that after everyone? It, it's, no. <laughs> it's, it's true. So we're all... These guys, more importantly, are bigger Marvel movie fans than I am. Bob... Bob is a big comic book guy. Mark's the big movie guy. So I wanted to bring them on and actually watch the movie with them because I wanted to get their take on this movie because we've been dealing with 18 movies in 10 years to get to this point. And was it going to be worth the wait? What did you expect going in and what did you think you got coming out of this movie? Oh, man. You know, just uh, going from scene to scene, it was just so intense. Um, you just you just don't know what's going to happen, but you know something big is going to happen. And just going from character to character, I mean, there was no breaks in the movie. There was no, no breaks. It was pretty quick. Two and a, two hours, 40 minutes, and yep. phew, flies Intense. through. Yep. Right. Marker and I were discussing after the when the movie ended, as we were waiting for the, there was, there was an end credit. I won't say what it is. But, just, no, but an, an end end credit? And you got to wait till the very, very end, end yeah. and then you're, you're out. So just, it's awesome. Might, might be on. one of the best. Yeah, but anyway, as Possibly. we were um, Possibly. as we were waiting, I told Mark, I'm like... The, we were discussing how this movie has a very different feel than the rest of the Marvel Universe movies. Yeah. Because this, knowing, go, knowing in your mind that this is possibly the last of all these, of this storyline, mm -hmm. that anything can happen. Right. So you have a, there's almost a dread over you the whole time, you know? You know, it's, you know something's going to happen. And mm -hmm. quite frankly, I was hoping something was going to happen, something big, right? Something yeah. that's going to really shake the foundations up because that's what's always bothered me about movies like this is that there's no stakes. Yeah, the end of the world, eh, but there's no personal stakes. So when you kill somebody, that's great, right? That, that raises the stakes. And so I was really hoping that something would happen throughout this movie. And I, I think I got what I really wanted. I got something that was just ballsy. It's a ballsy movie. It is. I can't imagine anyone not being satisfied with this story. If you have followed the previous 18, 19 movies, it's very much a it's culmination a number 19. of oh, that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a culmination of that. It's not a. It's not Avengers three. You know. No. It is. Yeah. Marvel Universe Part 19, you know? Yep. Yeah, the fallacy, unfortunately, here is you can't sit down and watch Avengers 1, 2, and 3 and have, like, this kind of yeah, the it's story. Not a, it's not that at all. You it's, probably figure it out. You have to yeah, you have, there's all. a lot of stuff. And I, I spent the last three weeks, I know, no, this guy watched uh, all 18 movies. Uh, I watched, I think, 8 to 10 somewhere. So probably 8. Yep. I watched <laughs> That's a lot. So this guy did too. Yeah. So, I, I mean, you can't watch them like that. You're right. So it's not like a typical trilogy because there's another one, Avengers 4. So it's not a story in that where you have to watch them all. You have to know what's going on. And anybody coming in kind of fresh, I don't think they can watch Avengers Infinity War without having some type of knowledge going back, right? Yeah. If you watch it, I don't think you're able to have the connection with the characters mm -hmm. and understand a lot of things going on if you haven't seen the other movies. Yeah, absolutely. Because this really yeah, ties all the stories together and, and gives you an emotional all, connection. All the emotional beats yeah. would have no resonance if you just went And there's a lot of quick references to things that have happened in past movies. Mm -hmm. and yeah. And if you know that, it just makes more sense. Right, right. So I, w I was glad that I actually took time to watch some of those movies. And, and how long was that movie? Two and a half hours? Two hours and 40 minutes. It flew by. It flies by. It's, it's one of those movies where I had to pee for the last hour same I here. just I just held Same it here. like I'm not moving I'm not missing out on this and I was delighted. Now, the one thing that's bothered me throughout Marvel, I hated the villains. The villains usually aren't really good. But so guys, Thanos, proper villain. I, I think he's the best they've had so far. Mm -hmm. um, I like the depth that they established with him in the beginning. Um, they really made you fear him. I think they set that tone early, mm -hmm. and that's why every time you see him in the movie. You, you get a little scared. Yeah, you, you know, scared. that's a good yeah. point. You do kind of feel you, a little bit yeah. unnerved because you know that there's, he's capable of There is yeah. dread every time he's on screen. Yeah, like, and anything I... Anything can happen. I was really delighted that they gave him a lot of screen time. I don't know if that's a spoiler. We're going to keep this spoiler-free, folks, right. for the most part. But he has a lot of screen time. And it really adds to the depth of the character. I mean, you really... Uh, I mean, you, you had an understanding of where he was coming from, which makes a real villain 
powerful and proper. I mean, if you if they believe what they're doing is right, that's that's an awesome villain. Hmm. What was your favorite? Now, without spoilers, what was your favorite moment of the movie? Oh my god, oh, man, that's a tough Dude. question. Man. I mean, uh, there were so many. It's just moment after moment. All right, after process. Moment. You're trying to. Pro- I'm, just, yeah, I'm still trying to I, process some I, of it, I but can't answer that. There's there's too much. I'd have to. Uh, well, I'm gonna. Okay, go ahead, Mark. You say first. You know, I, um. I, I'll probably change this after I watch it a few more times. But, Which will be like the end of this weekend. Right. right. But one of my favorites was the opening scene because I think that really establishes and sets up the entire movie because you watch the movie differently yeah. after the open, opening scene. Okay, so my favorite scene, I, without giving anything away, I'm just going to say Thor. Thor was, Thor was probably... Just Thor. Just oh, Thor. You know what I'm, if you know what I'm, if, when you see the movie, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Thor. Thor was awesome. Awesome. So, lot to process. Uh, it's going to make some serious money this weekend. So, go see it. Go see the crowded theater. We saw it with r- literally nobody because um, it's early 1 o'clock showing. I can't wait to see it Thursday night Hell with a yeah. crowd of people who are excited to see this because I yeah. was laughing throughout the whole thing in a very giddy way. Uh, it, I mean, I'm still trying to process it, but I'm I'm super excited about it. I think it's I think it's it hit it hit the mark on where I wanted to be for Black Panther fans because mm. Black Panther blew everything out of the water. Right, um, he's heavy in some of the trailers. Mm-hmm. I think because of that. Oh yeah, yeah. don't They're... go to this movie looking for one character to be heavy because no. it's balanced amongst them all. Um, it's a great balance. Great but don't balance. Don't go for one character balance. because right. it's about them all. Yeah, yeah you know, that's a great point because as soon as it went away from one character or character group, I was like, yeah. okay, now oh, but I'm gonna miss out on that. But nope, nope, nope. something really interesting is going yeah. on over this side over here. So and they it's... take you, they pull you away from that, and then yeah. you're like. Yeah. Oh, I was into that. And it's a they great like, job of, of weaving everything into this the, movie, the, man. They did a great job. The balance of the yeah, yeah. Of all the characters. Because when you're watching individually, you're used to seeing your individual <laughs> characters in their movies, and you're just waiting for a 20, 30 minute scene, and then yeah. they cut it and go to another character. Yeah. And then you get into that character, and they right. cut it, go to another one. It's right. just but every it's every scene has has merit. Every scene has has something yep. going on, and it's uh, there's there's more at stake than just people's lives you know yeah, it's it's, it's, it's there, big there's no fat on you're this not ready thing. for no, the no. scene to end but you're like oh yeah i'm waiting to see what's going on in that exactly next scene you want so yeah yeah it. just as soon as you're like hey what happened oh no there they are yeah. okay yeah got it cool so go see it thank you for listening to the j craig podcast gentlemen thanks for being here thanks for having thanks, me thanks jay you bet